Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share calculator trick in constructing ANOVA table. When we construct ANOVA table, what we usually do is first we will find the mean value for each group. After that, we will find the mean value for the entire group. Secondly, what we do is we will take the individual value then minus their respective value then square in order to obtain the square errors within group. After that, we will take a sum for all these square errors in order to obtain the sum of square errors or sum of square residual. And thirdly, we will also take the individual value but minus the mean value for the entire group. Then take a square in order to get the square error for the entire group. Then we will take a sum for these values in order to get the sum of square total or sum of square or what we call SST. To get all this value is actually really time consuming. If let's say we observe this term carefully, this is actually similar to our variance formula. Our variance formula is actually this term over n. So meaning to say if let's say we want to obtain this value, we can actually take the variance times n. So means that we can actually make use of the calculated function. Okay, let's try. We press more, then we look for statistic 3, then we look for 1 variable 1. Okay, then we enter the data. So 25 equal 32 equal 28 equal 26 equal 34 equal 33 equal. Okay, after that, escape, then shift 1. Look for variation for if let's say we want the mean value, then we choose 2 and equal. So this one will be the mean value, okay? But we want the variance, so we press shift 1 variation, okay? Variance we have sigma and x. Sigma is population standard deviation, and this one is for sample, okay? For ANOVA table, we take population, so it will be 3. Okay, this is standard deviation. What we want is variance, so square here. Okay, after that, times n. Okay, what is n? Then we have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So times 6 here, then equal. So this one will be the square errors for group 1, group A. Okay, then we repeat the same steps for group B and C to obtain these two values. Then after that, we take a sum, that will be our square errors okay sum of square errors or what we call sse okay now we try for the sst okay for this one before that make sure we clear clear our cal calculator okay clear okay then we also stat and one okay then enter all these values so 25 32, 28, 26, 24 and then last one 33 okay then escape then shift one also look for variation for okay sigma 3 remember to take a square for variance then times n okay one group we have six now we have three groups here so means a total of 18 then equal so this one will be the values and this is our sst okay after that, we take a different for this with this one and we'll get a sum of square treatments. Okay, so it means that we take this value minus 1758.83333 and equal. So this one will be the sum of square treatments. Okay, by using this method, it can actually help us to save a lot of time. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.